is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God our Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we joyfully celebrate the solemnity of the Annunciation the angel Gabriel announcing to Mary that God has chosen her to be the mother of God's son. We entrust ourselves to the prayers of our mother and ask her intercession for us and for the whole world. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind God's love and ask forgiveness for our sin. May God have mercy on all the world. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God, that it be deep as the netherworld or high as the sky. 
But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll, it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifice and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. 
the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. At the beginning of his papacy, Pope John Paul II, now Saint John Paul II, took as his papal motto, totos tuus, totally yours. And he had a big M, a blue M for Mary, on the, the left side of his shield, his papal shield. And there's a reference not only to his great devotion to the Virgin Mary, I'm totally yours, so that we go to Christ through Mary. But also it symbolizes what we just heard. It's Mary herself saying, I am totally yours. Do with me what you will. God has chosen her to be the mother of his son. And Jesus himself comes to do the the will of the Father. It is this will that the psalmist says that we take delight in, the will of God. Jesus doing the will of God. The Blessed Mother, Mary, doing the will of God. St. John Paul II, striving to do the will of God. And each one of us, As we pray daily, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We're striving to do the will of God. As I mentioned, today we celebrate this wonderful solemnity of the Annunciation. And the other way of looking at this is the mystery of the Incarnation. That Jesus, the Son of God, takes our flesh in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Heaven and earth are united. There is this marriage of the divine and the human that takes place in the womb of the Virgin and with her consent and by her humble submission and obedience to the will of God. I am the servant. Let it be done to me according to your word. And because of her act of great 
faith and trust in the word that God spoke to her, we have hope for our lives because Jesus, the Son of God, entered into our history, entered to come and be our Savior, born of the Virgin, born as a child, and grew and did the will of the Father, and ultimately suffering death and death on a cross, and rising from the dead, ascended to the Father, and has sent the Holy Spirit upon us to bring us together with him to the Father in the great resurrection of the dead. We have hope because of this feast, because God entered into our lives, into our history. We heard in the first reading, he will be called Emmanuel, God is with us. Not somewhere far away, God is with us right now in our present moment and in our current situation that we are experiencing throughout the world with the tremendous suffering brought about by the coronavirus. We still have hope and today should be a day of joy because we do not let the darkness overshadow us or overcome us. And as the angel told Mary, do not be afraid. So the angel is speaking to us today as well. Do not be afraid. And as the angel told Mary, for nothing will be impossible for God. God, by his grace and favor, will help bring us through this. We will live through this. We will survive. We will also have to bear the cross as did Jesus, but nothing is impossible for God. And so we have hope. We need to then respond to God's invitation to bear the Christ in our lives as Mary bore him in her womb, to carry Christ within us, in our hearts, in our minds, in our spirits, to make Christ known by our words and our good deeds, bringing light and grace and peace and joy and kindness and mercy to all we meet as Mary brought forth the Christ into the world for our salvation. May we bring Jesus into the world through this grace and favor shown to us. Today, we honor the Blessed Virgin and for her tremendous act of faith, I am totally yours, totos tuus. May we also give ourselves completely to God, doing his will. And now today the church asks us to profess our faith and at the words of the incarnation to bow our head or to genuflect. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, 
And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We present our petitions and our prayers to our Heavenly Father, who provides for his children in all their needs, for nothing is impossible for God. We pray for the church and for her mission to go out to all the world to announce the good news. May her missionaries, evangelists, catechists, pastors, all who announce the gospel be joyful on this day, making Jesus known, the word that saves us, that brings us grace and favor from God. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that God's grace may extend to the whole world, especially at this time that there is so much anxiety and fear and suffering because of the coronavirus. May the prayers of the Blessed Mother, our Mother, calm our fears and help us to put our trust in God to do his will as she did, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are in authority in government, business, industry, medicine, scientific research, all those who are striving to bring an end to the threats opposed to our social order and our good health by this coronavirus. May the Spirit of God, which overshadowed the Blessed Virgin Mary, come upon them, bring them wisdom, help them to make good decisions that will promote the health and the welfare of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the elect continuing to prepare for their new life of baptism. May God strengthen their hearts even in these uncertain times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our, all the parishioners of St. Joseph on the Rio Grande and for our benefactors, both living and deceased, may the hand of God rest upon us bringing us peace and joy, especially on this day that we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for the intentions commended to us this day. For the intentions of the Hernandez family and for the intentions of the Smithford family, as well as for the repose of the deceased members of the Campos family, and for all who have died, especially those who have died as a result of the coronavirus. May their families be consoled, and may the deceased rest in peace and be brought into the joy of all the saints in the kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, I invite you to add your own particular needs and intentions at this moment. Almighty God, we praise you and thank you for sending us your son Jesus, born of the Blessed Virgin Mary and help us to imitate her example of trust and great courage to believe what you spoke to her and to put it into practice in her life, humbly submitting herself to you to do your will. May we follow her example and do your will, and may we also receive your grace and favor as she did. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalt and praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo, y bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora. 
otra muerte y así sea, Jesús María.